winter. We're live, guys. Ooh. Oh, we are. Hello, everyone. How you guys hey. doing? So, hey. Welcome good. to welcome to the show, Simple Chew. <laughs> Feeling good. Uh, Feeling how good. you guys doing? Doing good, good man. Doing good. So, so who we got for right now? Oh, Juan Carlos Arilis is speaking right now. <laughs> You're some bad Spanish, man. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, finish the whole the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> And we we got away. Oh yeah, from Patrick, Patrick Tucson. <laughs> Tucson. A- any um, any plugs you guys have? What type of plugs? Like you know, Facebook, social media. Um. Yeah. But I never like pr- I never like promoted myself like that before. You never th- no. thought yourself as, as a brand. No, not me. No, to be honest with you, no, I haven't. Like, like no, not at all. And I think that's an interesting thing to look at, but I'm not really branding anything at the mm-hmm. moment, nor have the like the thought process to to look at it that way. Mm. I think that's something you could you could walk me through like like this platform right now. This is this is pretty cool. Are like you that. like this? I do. Like at first it's intimidating and then you just you feel it and then you just get into it and just blah, you know, you just Yeah. No, it's just enjoy yourself, you know. You know? Like I'm pretty sure if I were to like rewatch this episode, I would be able to pinpoint where I feel tensed, where I'm just like, uh, I'm just going. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. I see it all the time. Is isn't it interesting? It is, like, but I feel like a na- the naked eye or the audience would not pick it up. Of course, they pick it up. You think you, did you think so? I mean, if you just pay attention to it, but like you really got to like. Well, it depends on the characteristic of the person's face and expression. Oh, yeah, right. like some people have a, like a, some a lot of expression. Some people could be really mellow, yeah. you know, but, but some me- people could be like <laughs> intense. You can see the face. Like, you know, ESPN Skip talking. No, nah, I never saw that. You never seen an ESPN nah. Skip? Oh, man, when Skip gets pissed off. Like, if they're talking something bad about the Cowboys. <laughs> skip is crazy. Yeah, he, so, get, he gets bad. Skip. I love Skip still. He makes so me laugh. Skip. I like him. He's a Cowboys and a Pats fan. Wow, he's both. Yeah, he's. He, I think he's more of a Cowboys fan, but I. I but he. I think his other his other team is the second team, is the, is the Patriots. Nice. Yeah, he makes me laugh, man. Every time he has them conversations, man. Stephen A. is a. Stephen A. is, is in the other cowboy. show. No, Stephen A. is a Giants fan. He's a, who's the he Cowboy hates from the Cowboys. One of them is the Cowboys. I, I remember. They were talking about. I can't. I don't know if it was Max. Max. The oh. co-host. Max is the one who's with Stephen A. Smith. Yeah, he he's the he's the other commentator. He's the other commentator. With he's the, he's the dude the boxing. Yeah, with Molly. Commentator. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, he used to about. be the talk. Yeah, the boxing. But I haven't been watching like those shows so much. Like I like I just go to YouTube, check like the highlights, who's talking. And when I if I see Skip, I'll press it. And I, he's in a new show that I don't know. He's talking with some other person because I'm so used to the old oh, school. Skip and Shannon. Uh, I think it's Skip and Shannon. Yeah. yeah, I've been watching it, and that's really funny because like Skip was on him about like, oh, the Cowboys gonna make it and everything. It was a big disappointment. That's a that's a very interesting show. I feel bad, man. It's a very it is that like is that your go to show? Like, what do you prefer? Like first take or um, Skip I, I and was, Shannon? Well, remember like after like back then when like first take was there. You know, the internet wasn't there for you could just press a button and right. and just see highlights really quick now. You know, back in the day, I used to actually try to watch it, TV, wait, oh, it's going to be 8 o'clock. It's the, you know, well, yeah. Stevie, Stephen A and Skip was at it. But after that, I haven't really been Yeah, I know focused. what you mean. Like, it's much easier to go on YouTube. Yeah, so whatever is on YouTube, sometimes they pop out like something I guess interested. Like, oh, they're talking about... So I'm starting to sport. I'm like, okay, cool, you know, and they'll talk about it, and, and that's it. But I'm not, like, paying attention like how I used to be on ESPN. Yeah, I think less people are watching TV. Oh, yeah, dude. Every, like, every, you know, live TV. Everybody's paying, like, internet right now. Oh, like, absolutely. Cheaper, man. Like, absolutely. It's been years. Since. I haven't had Comcast for a long, you know. Yeah, a lot of people are cutting them. A long them. time, man. I got, like, Netflix and Hulu. It's way cheaper, man. Yeah. It's like, what? It's like 10 bucks each. It's like, if you get... Comcast is like what one hundred twenty dollar, one hundred eighty dollar yeah. package or something right, right. crap like that for two years and then it goes up or something. I don't know it's just crazy. I can't do that. It's man. not worth it. Heck no! It's too much competition, man. I just wonder how long the 
Conk is going to be there and how you call direct TV is going to be there. Well, they, they'll provide internet. That's what a lot of people <coughs> have them for. Because even here in, my, in this place, my, my parents just pay for the internet. Mm. And that's, and that's it. it. Yeah. yeah. What you got? A, a, a jailbroken fire stick? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. So we use uh, direct TV. Direct TV now is like the app. That, one I think that's what my dad has. It's like twenty bucks a month. Oh no! He has, oh really? And you have like sixty channels. Really? Yeah. You got all like TNT, like basketball, all that stuff. That's exactly why I got it. Mm, how much you pay? Twenty bucks a month. Damn, that's freaking nothing, man. Damn, that is nothing. And you get uh, HBO for free. Wait, what? In the package. But hold up, hold up. I have a jailbroken Fire Stick, and I only pay for internet. So I just use it based on that platform. Yeah. And there's uh what's it called? I think it's called Cody. I think it's like the it's like the older version of oh, and you know Cody. what I'm talking about? Yo. Is that thing that you can watch movies for free or something? Everything. Like you can watch everything. everything. It's on the Xbox. Man. So that's free or you have to pay? No, it's actually free, but you, you gotta je- it's it's awesome. But it's 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 on some D. It's like unlocking a a specific phone, like the iPhone when it first came out. Mm-hmm. Not when it first came out, but like whether if you could get it on another plan because it's cheaper. It's one of those things. I see. And then once it's jailbroken, it's just like you have access to the world. But is it jailbroken? Like when you do that, mm-hmm. do you lose? Um, like you obviously lose the warranty all the time, but is that stuff like doing it is not illegal? Jailbreaking? I, I would think that. <laughs> um, it's just software that you put in. <laughs> I would th- think that. I, I, I was like, I remember I was playing the Xbox, and my friend was like, "Yeah, get Cody. You could watch a movie or something like was, that." <laughs> and I'm like, "What the heck is Cody?" Then I downloaded it, and then I'm like, "It's like a torrent." Yeah, kind of it was yeah. It's something like that, and then it's you, something in that category. Yeah, that's yeah. Nice I need to check on that. Like. I, think I never tough. thought of it. It's. I know there's like other movie things, apps that it's totally illegal. Like you can download a whole movie without paying. Oh man, I got one more. I, <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's there's a, a bunch of apps. Yo, I I am so grateful, you know, that I met my best friend. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the story. His name is Christoph Brooks. He's out in California right now. Shout out to Chris. And um, it was the first time. Then I moved out to the suburbs, and it was like culture shock for me. And he became my first best friend, and he taught me about like he, he was a kid that was really into technology and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And he taught me about torrents, and you know he just got me into it. And ever since then, I was just like more hungry, and that's why I was just like when it came to like jailbreaking the um, the uh, Amazon Fire Stick. Like, it, it reminded me of him, you know? It was just mm. like, it's like a different world. Something it, he will do, kind of. Exactly. Yeah. Something he introduced yeah. me to, you know? But um, I got to put you on. I definitely got to put you on. It's it's a phenomenal thing. I mean, that would be awesome, man. I'm yeah. Down. Like, it's it's really it's really tough. But I'm curious about your deal, too. I want to look into that, see, like, you know, compare and contrast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever is. I just found something that was convenient that I don't have to, like. You know, it was just easy to download the app and start watching. And then I just, like, stream it to the TV. Hmm. But if if you have, like, a Fire Stick, like, which I do, I just plug it in the back of the TV and I can play my direct TV straight from the, the Fire Stick. Hmm. I don't I mean, know. It just much. I feel like it was easier. Does it lag ever? It does sometimes, but not not often. I I got one of those sticks that you put on the TV from my parents. Well, that wasn't me. I think it was my brother. Like an antenna? No, it's like um, the ones you plug on the TV. You can watch Netflix. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's like the fire stick, right? Is that what they call it? Fire stick? I mean, they have a fire stick. They have um, the one Chromecast or something like that. Google Play. I mean, there's different brands of it, but it could be the Chromecast if you're talking about like direct streaming. I think because I know my dad has like, what is it? Yeah, he it could dish. be Raku. Or yeah, he that's has what that he has. One. So that's the same thing of uh, with Fire Stick. Yeah, it's the same concept. Basically, the thing like I have the Xbox, so I'm like, 
just, so you you go I through just, there yeah i just whatever you know i mean basically my xbox is a place just to watch netflix because me and my girl that's all we do is watch netflix <laughs> on the thing i try to play games and i'm like after no that, just watch yeah, a, it was just basically just watch one of my videos I, I usually put like 10 minutes now playing video games i don't even i'm proud of you man what what are we playing now I honestly don't, man. I go back to the old school games. I'll play like, like uh, Final Final Fight. Play like Final Fight or what, what was the other one I was playing? Street of Rage 2, like those old no, school games. Is that Sega Genesis? Yeah, man. Okay, that's tough. I r- respect. Respect. <laughs> I like that. I remember that. Yeah, because throwback. I can't get into the new games no more. Yeah, I haven't played video games in like a decade. How come? I can't. How come? I don't have the time. Oh, really? Henry, no, yeah. Henry works like crazy. Hold man. on, hold on, hold on. I feel like I can do be doing something more productive. Right, go to the gym or something. Okay, yeah. that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. But I'm so, okay. So I guess my 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 question, the underlying question, is like, what's your outlet? Oh, I read a lot. So and, really, yeah, yeah. I read of your Facebook that you want to read Spanish. That's cool. Yeah, a Spanish book. So I read about two two four books a month. That's really, really good, man. I've been doing it for like two years now. Yeah, I remember that you said that was one of your my things, goal, my resolutions your goals that you wanted to do, man. That's Some really people say, good for you, Henry. yeah, people say like, oh, you, if you have resolutions, they don't come true. Mm-hmm. It's like it's just mentality. Yeah, I feel yeah. I, I get more boosted if somebody says a negative to me. Yeah, I feel like it's competition. Yeah, it is true, man. When someone gives you a negativity, it kind of really boosts you up. And yeah. you're like, oh, I'm going to prove them wrong. Yeah. Uh, I remember when, like, I was really into the gym, like crazy. And I remember people yeah, I remember like, oh, those. you're never going to get the abs or anything. You're yeah. never going to do this. And then I'm, like, breaking barriers. And you're like, damn. Yeah. yeah. But it, that's because you had so much haters around. And yeah. you're like, damn. That really, it just helps. It's like fuel. It really is. It's fuel. It's just like, like you're not able to do this. You're not going to do this. I always been at the guy that. You know, if you're doing your best, go for it. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to put you down. I'm mm-hmm. not going to make right. you feel like crap. You know, you should always try to support people, each other, you know, make people happy, you know. Right. That's how come when you got a good circle, life is a little more happy. <laughs> so you think a smaller circle is better than? Small circle is better than a big circle, man. I think no circles are better. <laughs> Damn, Patrick, who backstab you, man? You, no, no, man, no. you've been in my circle for a long time. No. Hopefully, I hopefully I'm in you your know, circle. Patrick, you know something? When I met you, right? Mm-hmm. Something, something that I noticed, something that I noticed was that you knew a lot of people. You know a lot of people <laughs> in Boston. He actually does, man. Yeah, I see all those pictures. He actually got some connections. I, I remember he was like, "You want to watch Celtics game?" Yeah, uh, that's why. Whoa, 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 whoa! We won't, we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he okay, just okay. Remembers the Celtics game, and that's it. <laughs> we went to a Celtics game. We yeah. were just in, in uh, UFC fight. Oh man, I remember we went to whoa, the whoa, UFC whoa, fight. Whoa, 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 <laughs> no, no. whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa! Look, hold you on. You played hold in the wait. fifth. We we are live. Okay. <laughs> Um, I don't want people to see this. Well, y'all gonna see it anyways because it's, it's the truth. <laughs> it's already so, in the whatever, internet. Whatever. <laughs> um, I don't want no no strangers coming up to me talking about <laughs> hey, hey, you hook me you up, hook you up with those that. tickets. Nah, man, be, people and, better be respectful. The and only pay. Reason. They have to pay up. No comment. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know what we were talking. I don't know what y'all were talking. This is this is. <laughs> no, but UFC was fun. I remember one time me and Patrick we went over there, man. It was long. Time is is ago. it? Does it? I don't. Hold I, up. You were telling a story. I want. I want to hear your perspective. This <laughs> <laughs> is interesting. You were saying the first time you met me, one thing that you noticed was that, that you I, knew a lot of people. How did you notice that? Because of the way you were carrying yourself, and you were introducing yourself. To everybody, did I do that? Was that was it at a barbecue? I'm not sure. I don't. I met you at um, Tommy's place. I think it was. Was it Tommy's? Yeah, next no. to McDonald's. No, I don't think you met him at Tommy's. I think you met him at my barbecue. Could be. 
Man, it's been so many times. It's been a long time, yeah. but we, it's like random counters that you kind of forget. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I, when every time I see it, it goes to that. But he, Patrick's always a chill guy. Patrick yeah. comes in, he'll introduce himself, yeah. smiles. Thank you. So what I knew he do, had man. like a lot of people. Thank you. That he some connections, yeah, so, some networking. You'll be six feet How do you do that, man. though? Like, what, what's your, <laughs> do you have like a system or is it something you naturally? What, just, as far as connecting with yeah, people? And just like being real. Like, I think, I mean, I, I think my perspective is, I mean, at first I was taught to, you know be respectful not to say that i'm not i'm always respectful but like be some type of way where it yeah. felt you know cookie cutter and i'm not saying anything's wrong with that like i like being clean cut you know mm -hmm. that's that's a form of respect at least how i see it but at the same time i want to see the real person mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's just like i'm not here to judge you but i'm I'm here not to say I'm here to know you like it's some type of interview, but like, hey, if we vibe, we vibe. If we don't, we we don't. Like at, at the end of the day, like, yeah, it, it's I'm going to respect you, mm. you know, unless you give me a reason not to. Mm. No, that makes sense. You man. know, I just understand. Like when I first meet a person, I'll do my best to be respectful. Yeah, to you the do person. a good job with that. <laughs> Thanks. You like accept everybody. Might as well be hey, accepted. You everybody. meet them like six hours. And it's not no alcohol involved, and you're already like hugging them, and you're like already inviting <laughs> them into your house. Uh -uh. Yeah, what is I crazy? will not accept everybody. I, I'll tell everyone who sees this video. I'm letting you know off the bat. If I catch a vibe, I'm not accepting you. Like, no, I mean, I mean that's true. I feel bad vibe, you know, bad vibe. I'll, I'll yeah. be like cautious. You, you say too, yeah, you, you know. I, yeah, I know. But if, like, if I feel a good vibe, I mean, of course I'll be respectful to you and everything like that, man. And then he's in the barbecue. <laughs> No, like, like first time I met Patrick, I think we uh, we were younger. You're working at the... <laughs> I keep saying a hotel, but you're working... At, it was an apartment. We were younger. Was, yeah, you big me feel... <laughs> man, we... Right I now. mean, right now, we, we, <laughs> like, we're in our 30s, man. Oh, my gosh. What Everybody knows the world knows that. Time, time, wow. time going quick, man. <laughs> wow, what a perspective. Go on. Go on. I'm, I'm I want to hear the story now with the hotel. Go, go ahead. What, huh? what happened after? No, nothing like, you know... <clears throat> so when I had to go into work and I was working at her mess like a store and after that you know you were, right? what, what were you doing it was just a security guard when I was younger back in the days and then of course I met Patrick but he was working in a hotel well sorry <laughs> <laughs> an apartment <laughs> An apartment, no, uh, luxury, or something no, like that. No, I hope I get. For, I I hope I get some percentage for giving. You know what? No, I'm not gonna represent you the company a, that I used to work to cut for. the check. Yeah, because they were um, not kind. But anyways, <laughs> no. But the story is that I'm like he you always saying there. hi, yeah. blah blah blah, and me and Corda always go in the back, and he was saying hi. And after later on. We got to chill together, you know. See, that's what I'm talking about. You know, we just, yeah, we just hang down. We just became <laughs> friends out of nowhere, you know. It's crazy. You have a, you, you had a lot of people like that, that you have met. Yeah, that I met really yeah. quick. Uh, I remember I used to work at a Japanese uh, clothing line store, <clears throat> and I became really good friends with a lot of people over there, really kind people. And it's crazy. It's like, you know, as long as you're a good person, be chill with everybody, you, you know. But not a lot Doors of Doors were always open. Not, you know that not a lot of people can do that. No, it's not easy. No, man. not anymore. It's not. It's easy. like so hard to like. No, anymore. For me, at least. It, it's Why not. is it hard for you? I feel like I need to. I don't know. It's something that I always struggle. Nah, you cool, Henry. I mean, when I first no, met no, you. No, 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 no. I want to. I want to okay. paint. Your, this turned into like a therapy now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I want to. I want to understand. Paint your picture. Well, growing up, I was always like this quiet guy, so it wasn't like. I'm like really no, show my emotions too much, but you know, growing up, I learned like doing things to to control my anxiety inside. Mm. So meditation, working out, you know, having close people around you, and then trying to expand and just forcing yourself like to get out there and start meeting people. So, I mean, any event that is available, I, I usually go if it's like a professional kind of thing, but. Yeah, you used to do the professional uh, lifting weight competition. Yeah. That was crazy, man. You, I remember when you were doing that, you are doing really great. Yeah, I was better before than now, but... I mean... I want to well, go back to Patrick. You, <laughs> stuff. 
Hey, we get older. We, we got, we got yeah. women. So at the end of the day, hey, yo, you, you're messing up his portrait. I'm trying but, to see his vision. At the, at the end of the day, the older I get, the easier it gets to to meet more people. I mean, yeah, it is true. It is true. Like I less give a damn on what they think about me. I mean, th- that, that is a big fact. You should always think like that. As long as you're doing true. good in your life right. and, and the right route, that's the most important part, you know. I, I had a similar upbringing. You know, I was a very, very, very shy kid. Like, I was afraid of everything. No, seriously. Never met that yeah, one. I, yeah. Never met crazy. that one. I am being, <laughs> I am being <laughs> so serious. Like... My parents brought me up with like these strict morals. Not to say they were, you know, they were strict, but it, it put me in a in a position where it's just like I had to believe the good in everyone. Yeah, because that was their perspective. So they were teaching me for it to be my perspective. Mm. The problem was that you know I grew up in the inner city, and I went to, um, I was in this. A program called Metco. Ever heard of it? No. Where they take, yeah, kind of. Where they take inner city youth and they ship them out to like you know different districts out in the suburbs mm-hmm. to get an education. And I remember I I went to Weston. Yeah, it was like I, yeah, I remember. So you felt separated from the. You, I didn't you not, lived or no 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 I never. I never felt separated. I was young, so I already thought that was the norm. You know, I woke up at five thirty in the morning, you know, to get to school at like seven thirty, seven forty five, something like that, because we're picking up other students as well. You know, every day, uh-huh. and I was just super tired. And like my pa- my parents weren't strict as far as like me, like being to bed at a certain time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They were. You know, but like I was a I was a very crafty kid. You know, I had you know, and um, <laughs> I regretted it because they made sure that I got up in the morning, mm-hmm. and school just sucked. <laughs> hey man, it's school, is school man. You I was know. just so tired. So inner city, suburb, and then when I got to like. 10 11 I moved out to arlington like now i'm in the suburb yeah. and that's where the culture shock is and you know same beliefs that everyone's good it's not until like i i got older where i was just like whoa you know i think my first heartbreak taught me that heartbreak. how like Ooh. Corda, I mean, Corda. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Yo, what do you, what you, what you mean? No. Sorry. 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 She'll be here. Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. <laughs> what up? Sorry. What's good? What's, what's on your mind? No, nothing, man. Actually, you sure? Exit. Okay, go ahead. Shout tell, out to tell, Cordell. Tell, tell, shout out to Cordell, man. Break hard. What was your first breakout? Oh, my gosh. It sucks. What, what did it taught you? Or It taught me no bullshit. Can I? Ooh, I cussed. You can say anything. Wow. Oh, I could just let it out. All right. Cool. cool. <laughs> Words only. All right. But I'll keep it PG. Um, my first heartbreak. Now that I look back, is actually pretty humorous. I took this. My best friend, um, took me out to this club. I think it was in Revere or Saugus, one of the two. And it was called. <laughs> it was called the BBC. BBC. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure anyone who watches this knows what I'm talking about. But I think it was no, Revere. And it, the club was enormous. It was like six Wait, floors. Wait, is it, is it in Wonderland? Near there. Th- BBC? Yeah. I'm just saying, man. Because it's like, it like there's be, a lot of clubs over yeah, there. Yeah, there's a bunch of clubs Wonder, around there. Yeah. There's like a african-american side party or something like that and there's a latino section right there see the i side. see i grew up i see i grew up very sheltered i did not know because like my first taste of adventure was when i moved out to the suburbs you know what i mean mm-hmm. sneaking out and like you know my best friend had a car at the time had the car and we would just venture out to these random spots so i would just be like whoa what type of world is this? You know what I mean? Like my innocence is still there, but uh it changed. Then you've really been a church boy ever since when you were born. Yeah. I so have. you got the, the 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 shock coming back to your neighbor or going 
Um, going to the suburbs and seeing. So when I went from point A, wow. So when I went from point B to C, because B to C was moving from, you know, the city into the suburbs. Yeah, it certainly was. No, that's a force. It wasn't shock, but it was more like, all right, now what? Hmm. You know, because it's just like I have to start over from scratch. You know, my parents have a perspective, you know, that, you know, they're teaching me and my sisters. And it was like a cadet drill sergeant relationship. Mm. And in the end, you know, they did a good job. You're no, good, absolutely. You're a good person, you know, yeah. that's what it matters. Absolutely. Like, you know, be, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I don't take anything away from that experience because it's just like I wouldn't. You're right. Like I wouldn't be the person that I am today. Yeah, you know, you're really chill compared to other people who doesn't have family members or mom or dads or anything. You know, and they come out like hard in life. Yeah, that that must be tough. It is tough. You know, I got friends that. Jeez, man, they wish they had their dad on their side, and they only have their mothers. And man, they have, yeah. a, they have a, I can't say nothing. I'm, I'm blessed that I got my mom and dad, and they're really good people. You met my mom and dad. Yeah, yeah, I love your parents. <laughs> you know, yeah. right? They're, they're very, they're, they're, they're really they're very chill, chill. You know, very. Like, they were they like welcoming. I know where you got your welcoming, yeah? like your hospitality. Oh, with my everybody. mom and dad. Yeah, yeah, you know. I like that. I respect that. But I, I do have a serious question. Yeah, if you got your hospitality from your parents, um, serious question: Where did you get your jump shot? <laughs> you talking about NBA Two K? Now I'm talking facts, real life. Real life, man. Real life. That's something I remember, man. Three years back, I smoked you, man. You were losing oh. gas. <laughs> Any bets here? <laughs> there is bets, man. There were bets. Cord- Cordell was right there. He was a witness, man. I, I will. I think. All right. Was- you have any footage? <laughs> oh man, you lucky. And you- what <laughs> you do you mean no I'm footage, lucky? I'm man. talking. I'm talking facts. <laughs> I'm. I'm not the best shooter. I shoot like Sean Marion, man. Ugly real, you're shot. talking about real life or like like I, I, got, yep. I got an ugly real shot. life. Real life. <laughs> an ugly life. shot man, when it comes to Sean Marion. <laughs> do you, you know his form? That it looks like a <laughs> wet like, frog. No, it's not, <laughs> It's not even like that. It's like with two two hands. He's got that and wet, like, oh, I see wet it. frog yeah, jump shot. Horrible. horrible. But I have like a, yeah. it's weird. I got like a like a good little Tim Duncan hook shot. Yo, yo, this dude. But, but okay. you know what? All even, right. even I have this... ugly shots and everything, I stomped his ass. Hold up. Whoa. Wait, wait. You this just lucky it's not recording. That That's all it is. So that's like that. Like, <laughs> it was. I'm it, listening. I'm listening. It was in Go Maverick. Ahead, sir. You know the Maverick basketball court. Maverick, yeah. So it was me, Cordell, and Patrick. And Patrick, I don't know. I don't know. He's like, "Yo, guys, you guys want to play basketball?" And I think it was Football. like two. He had a ball in his trunk of his car. See that? I'm about that life. <laughs> and I'm like, right? Are you kidding me? I had a ball <laughs> in my trunk. <laughs> Anyone who hears or listens to this podcast or watches it, they know if you have a basketball in your trunk, <laughs> you're about that life. Facts. So he, so it was like two something in the morning. I think we went partying or something. I think we went some party. And I don't know, he wants to play basketball. You guys and have I'm a like, lot of party stories. <laughs> and then Patrick goes like, yo, Juan, let's play hoops. I'm like, dude, it's like two something in the morning. You serious? Oh, you guys play drunk? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we were little buzz. <laughs> and at two I, in the I morning, I was buzzed, but I remember. Allegedly. But I remember Cordell was like, nah, I'm not in. <laughs> Cordell was like, hell no. <laughs> I was like, I'll be in the side. Hey, what was he like? What was he like? <laughs> Cordell was like, hell no. 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 Sorry, Cordell. Yo, Cordell's mad funny, man. He's a, bon- he's a man. Yeah, oh, he really man. is. But so him and me were playing basketball, and he goes like, he's like, well, I'm black. What? <laughs> yeah, you yo, did say that. Yo, you did say I, that. Yo, I'm black. You know, black up. man can play yo. basketball. No, and I'm, you know and I'm like, okay, my vibe at okay, all. yeah, bull crap. I, that, never I remember that. Into anything. <laughs> no, nope. ice Cordell. Don't nope. lie. Cordell's nope. a witness. I'm not taking so, that okay. one. <laughs> okay, so after that, we were playing, dude. 
He couldn't keep up with me. He was dying, man. He was dying <laughs> like you were running like thirteen miles. Oh, dude, every I was day. smoking this dude like nothing, man. He couldn't do nothing. My cardio was just like I rebound every ball. He he's like, <gasps> and you were squatting <sighs> heavy. I was squatting. Yo, I was doing everything. That left. I was doing this everything. Dude's disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being disrespectful. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Proceed, because I'm gonna tell my version too. <laughs> version Stay two. Stay tuned. Scene. Yeah. So I was smoking him every time. Mm-hmm. I remember he was like, oh, you think you're Dirk? You think you're Dirk? He was blocking me like this. <laughs> and I was far away. And I shot some ugly shot, like retarded. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I was going like this. <laughs> I threw the ball. And it went in. Yeah. And he goes like, oh, my Atlanta. <laughs> I, was, I was like, yo, and Cordell doesn't even hear Cordell. was like, how the hell he made that in? And I'm like, dude, I don't even know how I made it in. But after that, after Patrick's, you know what? I give up. I'm like, forget this. You didn't think that I was gonna be that quick and Cord- that. Cordell that saw that. Oh, Cordell <laughs> saw the whole thing. He's proof, man. Cordell, right now, you ask him, he's just gonna look the other way. He's like, I ain't gonna say shit. But you know, Patrick, deep inside, he knows. He's like, shit. <laughs> This little freaking Latino man just fucking like crisscrossed me like JJ Barrera. <laughs> That's a tough analogy. I kind of like that. That's, kind of, that's tough. I like that. That's tough. Okay. But it was fun, right. though, man. It was fun. Right. No, we respected each other. And hold up. Hold like up. That. Hold up. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Second scene. <laughs> Get the mic. You have it. Wow. <laughs> I need to bring Cordell just for that story. <laughs> that's, that was a fun time, man. All right. All right, PK. So, this is how the story went. <laughs> Couple of drinks. Basically the same thing as mine. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll let you speak, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go for it, bro. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. No worries. Let's check it. Yeah, it was like 2 a.m. Where were we, where were we coming? Where were we coming from a party? I don't know. We were coming from a party. A house party? You guys love house parties. I, back in the day, I used we to. Go, we ain't going to you know. house parties. Then what the uh, hell was it? I don't know, but it was always a good time. It was. Then I, don't, I forgot, man. <laughs> hey, do you have good times in house parties? I'm not saying you can't, but like I like. You remember a house party vibe? I don't remember any of that. I don't. I've been in a lot of house parties when I was young. That's all. I, I don't remember you were doing any of that. Crazy at all. <laughs> I, it it's either you know we chill whatever that's not important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go through the story. Come on. So basketball. We pulled up to a basketball court. We did. We just did like a, a lap around. What's that view near Maverick? It's right there where you can see the whole. City. Yeah, by Paris Street, right? Uh Summer Street. It's not. You said the Maverick. It's right there, Maverick and Summer Street. I think. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's dope. Oh yeah, because you got the, the you whole get Boston. the whole city oh, yeah, right yeah, over yeah. where Allen and E lives. Yeah, are they, are they still there? Yeah, no. Well, of course, Nee and I oh, yeah. got their own place okay, right now. Track. But they, oh yeah, we went to that party, right? What from Nee? Yeah. Oh, some fun parties with Allen and E's. We were drinking all the they other people's party, drink. man. What's it called? They 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 were them like the Asian familia to me. Yeah. Who had a lot of little Latino spice in them that yeah. they know how to party, man. Yeah. They, oh, they, man. they can drink. Else. Alan is fun, man. Alan can drink. Alan and your and, and and Peter, his brother. Whew, man. <laughs> Peter's in San Francisco right now, yeah. enjoying life over there. Well, we're suffering over here with this yeah, cold weather. We have to wear like a sweater inside of the suit. <laughs> No, but Dang, yeah. I'm still waiting about that basketball I, I, story, man. I'm, I'm still like, waiting I'm just for the like, basketball story. Yo, what? Uh, yeah, put me on, please. Wow, Patrick. I want some good weather too. <laughs> You're right. I, it is cold. It is cold over here in Boston, man. But then tomorrow could be like freaking summertime. Then the next day, yeah, rainy. True. Then it snows, and then back to summer. Yeah, over here in Boston, you just don't know what you're gonna get. Like in my backpack, I have a t-shirt, extra socks. A sweater and an umbrella because you never know. Yeah, but well. but if you, if you think about it, check it. You're always prepared for like the extreme. <laughs> <laughs> I'm prepared you, right you now. Really I got are. a good 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 jacket. I got some good boots. You really I ain't are. suffering this this you, this winter. But like yeah, like you know what's up. You know what I mean. But you take someone you know from warmer climate. And you put them in Massachusetts for the first year. Oh, they hate it, man. It's it's comical. They fucking oh, yeah. hate it. They're like, oh my God, what the it hell? Is. 
And then we go back there to their place, and it's like 60. Right. They have like a North Face. Right. (laughs) Dude, but I was like, what? Dude, I love the warm weather, though. Oh, man, I love it. You like California, right? Oh, California. You see your brother? Beautiful. Yeah, you have your brother, too, in California. Yeah, my my little bro showed me around Cali. I was like, yo, man, this is is a nice city, man. This is chill. This is so me, man. You know, when I had the little body going on, like six pack, six pack, and everything, whatever. (laughs) But like it was, it's was, it's was nice. It was chill over there, you know, where he lives in Long Beach is, you know, now they have, like Long Beach to uh, L.A. is like forty five minutes in a train station. It's it, new. It's what? a new train station transportation. I think they have like been working on it. I think they've been, you know, making new routes you know, oh, for for people to get there easier. But where my brother lives is just like. 10 minutes no actually he moved now but where he used to live is like just 10 minute walk to the train station and to take you to like to this city i mean mm-hmm. i like long beach than la la was just kind of a little dirty you know me. what you f- <laughs> you you certainly would fit that vibe like i guess like yeah, although one, i never yeah, met me my ben like that cali style yeah I, you got I, that I cali style. See, yeah you about that life i can co-sign that. <laughs> i guess you have no a nice brother. tan and uh, <laughs> <laughs> eating a taquito and a corona right now yeah. whoa whoa whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. i don't know what he said but i co-signed that too <laughs> yep <laughs> no nah, man the vibe so, is... I want to hear about that game though Yeah man What the heck man <laughs> Yo you're the paused. one That keeps going off Try <laughs> man, You know seg- Segway you, 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 you can stop this any day You'll be Yo, like Hold up Let nah, me finish my This my, is, my this my is time. how comfortable I make people You know what I mean They're just <laughs> like <sighs> <laughs> and then like they, they just speak on something and they run with it, not let them because it's just like, yo, okay, paint that picture. Like, all right, let me, let me take me on that ride. And I don't know what you just said. That what you say, Taki, Taki. <laughs> Did I pronounce it right? Yeah, that was pretty good. Taquitos and coronas. Taquitos and coronas. <laughs> we put a little. We should do that video. Yeah. Spice into it. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that commercial? It's a beer commercial, and it's like um. It's like a white guy in the middle. White and, guy in the yeah, middle. Yeah, and, and he's trying to... It's like a Mexican drink, uh, beer commercial. Man, I sent it to you guys. Yeah, send it to me. Look, I, I don't think I have it. I, it's I so didn't funny. got to see that one. I don't think... It's like a Spanish commercial. Oh, it's like Univision uh, yeah, or something Univision, like that. Yeah. Oh, they have been, I haven't been watching Univision <laughs> ever since yeah, I'll send it to you. or Wait, something like what, that. What's the network called? Univision, man. Come on, man. You hear this? I'm Come about, on, man. I'm about to hit him with the classic. Man, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, República Deportivas, man. With all the girls, like, all looking pretty and everything. Okay, sir. You keep that same energy. What's the old school? What's the old school shit? Yeah. What, ah, what Luz, you know? Luz Clarita. I remember my sister <laughs> used to watch Rebelde. You're about to get hit. Watch. Go ahead, proceed. Okay, are you going to talk about the basketball game? <laughs> no, 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 first of all. You see that? He doesn't nah, want to nah, talk nah, about nah. the basketball game. Nah. Yeah, you said Telemundo or Television? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Univision. Yeah. Univision. Yeah. yeah. But it is Telemundo. Telemundo big too now, yeah. right? What Univas? you know about? It was Univision first and then Telemundo. What you, what you know about? Sabado de Gigante. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, yeah, that's the old one. Who the heck did he watch that, that, man? Gigante. All right. He got hit. Look, did you see his got hit? I used to, I used to watch that hit. with my wow. mom and dad when I was younger, Boom. man. That's, that's what I know. <laughs> Facts. All right. Don't let me come out here, but I'm you know, you. hit you with a jacar. All right? <laughs> Facts. I'm about <laughs> that life. Don't test me. Oh, all right. Yo, Yo, I got, I got a years. trumpet in my trunk, too. <laughs> All right, we is good. That, is, wait, is Sabo, is All Sabo right. he got this still on? No, I think it's done. It finally finished. Yeah. Oh damn! You see, that's how long he I was been. tired, man. Don Francisco was that show was Francisco good. Francisco been freaking on. Yeah, that. It was so boring. The, no, it was. It was. Not. It was some. Stop. It was some stupid. <laughs> it was pretty good. Stop. I mean, I understand your perspective, way, because you know no, what, what perspective? Explain it to me. <laughs> I'm just saying, as like you know, as American Latino boys, you know, we're like, ah, damn it, the Spanish ain't no boy. You know, we're like, it's our parents. Like, let them have fun too, you know. And after that, I don't know us. We're gonna put like the the what Nickelodeon or, yeah. or Cartoon MTV. Network or MTV or something like. Hold that. up, hold up. Wait, did you you did you grow up here? 
Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying because he grew up here, he wouldn't be into it? No, it's because we're kind of like used to the society over here around us. It's like, you know, the kids, like me and Henry, we're so Americanized right now. Yeah, you we know? were talking about that. You know, the like, languages, the people. Don't yeah, know. you know, I mean, I'm I'm Salvadoran forever, Latin like blood, but like you know, of course, whatever is your surroundings, the, the way you're gonna act. Just That's like you, true. like you said, you're from the suburban area, and you're not gonna act whatever. Actually, actually, when I tell people like I grew up in Mission Mission Park, which is in Mission Hill, no one believes me. Hell no. They, they're like, no, you didn't. And I'm like, no, I, re I really did. Like, the reason, one of the reasons that we moved was because I witnessed, I was a little, this is how sheltered I, I was. I witnessed a rape when I was a kid. Jesus Christ. Jeez. Damn, that, that just went like terrible. You Whoa. know what I mean? Okay. But this is how this is how protective, you know, my folks were and, and rightfully so, because, you know, no one wants to be in that environment. And I remember when I described it to my dad when he came home, because you know, as a little kid, you energetic, you wanna see your dad, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm you know, I'm describing it to him and, you know I, I had no knowledge of things of that nature. Right. And he just put two and two together, and you know, just. I mean, your dad doesn't want you to no, be absolutely. in a situation that you, that, that could happen to you or killed or anything like, you know, that's how come he was tough on you, man. I mean, it, it like clearly it was a, a very dangerous situation, and Damn, I'm sorry to hear that you have to witness something like yeah, that. Yeah, you know, I didn't understand until so I was you know a, lot, a little bit older because you you know. Um, but, you know, my dad busted his ass and moved out to the Burbs. And I turned out, the, not to say that the Burbs made me who I am, but definitely added to my character. I mean, everybody acts, you know, sense. where they're born and who they're raised around and your characteristic and everything. You act like, you act what's like surrounding your environment. You, your environment, right. you know. Yeah. Like, you know, I was surrounded when I was young. I used to live in Ever Street. When I was a kid, like around like where your parents are right now. Um, my my, my dad lives in Paris Street right now. Okay, I always confuse Paris Street. I don't know why. Paris Street, right there, close to the airport, the one to the church. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you you've been in my dad's house, yeah. but when they used to live, they used to live in Everett, and you know, this is back in the day when it was kind of tough to be Latino. Oosh. <laughs> I remember one time I took where up, by like, the where in? huh? I'm in Paris Street, right there in East Boston. Oh yeah, I mean. Every street, yeah. You know, every my dad, street, used, every street in East Boston, yeah, in East Boston. Well, what years are these? Ooh, man, we're talking about maybe 1998, 1995, Ooh. man. Oh, tough. Yo, go on. Sounds like a classic. Go <laughs> on. It is. I remember black and white. All those old cars. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yo, I remember. It was just a crazy environment, but you know, a lot of the Latino kids that I know now growing up really different compared to the ones from before. Yeah, because mentality is all different. Yeah. It, you because know, they got social media, morality is yeah. all different. Yeah. You know, but I think and it it's, like, it's like you as a as a Haitian. You know, you descended from a Haitian family. You know, of course, your dad. Facts. But now that you're completely different from whatever your dad is, you're a true different American right now. You're you're a new generation American. I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. I mean, how it's do you okay. see it, Patrick? Well. I mean, I think I think when you, you know, when you're a kid, you're you're instilled with these like morals and values, whether they're you know, whatever culture you're from. I mean, they they got good morals and values. It's just like you know, it's just you, you just change a little bit of from their style. It's, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, I definitely evolved. Yeah, I definitely not not you know, they're, they're okay. good people. Whatever country, no matter what, you know, it yeah. doesn't matter what color. It's just the way you act. Yeah. That's yeah, the absolutely. only, to me, I'm always a person, I don't give a shit about your color or anything. As long you act like a true, kind person, then I will give you the same respect. Who's a good person I like I met in, like, one of my, Tommy. Oh, yeah. Tommy's a nice guy. Caucasian. <laughs> White boy. Amazing, Coolest dude man. ever met. Yeah. <laughs> Chill guy. Another dude, guy. Yeah, Jeffrey. He, Jeffrey. Yep. Nice. Wow. Really good people. No, his whole family is so nice. But, you know, like, you know, we're surrounded by areas that, you know, 
people are so into their culture, but after that, when I mean, you realize we're all Americans in the end, you know, we're all like we we'll always rep whatever in our background, but in the end, we're, we're this is we're brothers right now. You're my brother. <laughs> okay, that's a very spiritual perspective. I respect that. I like that. Nah, no worries about it, man. It doesn't matter. Like I always told my friends, like, like when I used to work with um these people. I think in uh, what was it called in bonfire in the airport, airport, and they're yeah. from different countries or something like that. Like back in like you know like four years ago or whatever. And I told them like, dude, it doesn't matter like what country you're from. You know that that person from the same country could backstab you quicker than the other person from another color, man. That's right. And he goes like, damn, you're right. And I'm like, yeah, man, because I see it all the time. It's messed up, man. You know. It's, it's going to embrace different cultures and enjoy it, you know? It's going to make it better. Yeah, it's gonna be like you know? A hybrid. Like, you want to try Dominican food? Dominican food, awesome. You want to try Puerto Rican food? Puerto Rican food, awesome. You try, like, Guatemalan food? Like, oh, that, like, I like the carnachas from a Guatemalan. Man, good, okay. man. You get to experience, like, awesome. That's fucking yeah. awesome, yeah. you know? Can, like, can, I, you, can you put me on, please? Yeah, like, <laughs> yo, Kyoko, when we, like, I used to work with Kyoko. She's Japanese. One of the sweetest <clears throat> persons I ever met from Japan. From uh, Mass, right? Yeah, and, um, damn, she took me to these cool Japanese and opened my mind. And I'm yeah. like, damn. I'm like, okay. And then I try sake, and then I try some real sushi. Yo, sake is good, huh? Yeah, yeah, man. And then you start, like, like exploring. You start, like, becoming, like, so open-minded that you appreciate everything what the world gives you. Hmm. It doesn't matter what country, whatever. You're just like, yeah. this, is, this I got is... I got a question for you. Yeah, what's up? What was the last like country you visited? Uh, Dominican Republic. Yeah, how was it? It was freaking awesome. It was beautiful. Did you go to like like did you go to a resort or like the real DR? I, I went to uh, to Samana. So Which, you really went to? I DR. went to like because well, my girlfriend's from Dominican Republic, so we we went to DR. We went to DR. I went to Shout out, Lulu. <laughs> Shout Shout out, out. Lulu. <laughs> La Nesia. Uh <laughs> When I went over there It was beautiful It was like mm, She was talking to me It was like Hey babe Do you want to go again And I'm like Yeah you know what Why not I like I like to explore It's just like In the same time You know The things That you want to save money And things like that You know But But yeah. uh, Of course I want to go Like you know But I do want to go In other new countries too Like When you went to Europe When you went to like France I'm like damn You know that <laughs> I think that's another place i want I mean, uh, my checklist you you're not a big traveler right? no i've never been a big trap but after i got out you know yeah. I've been, like when i went to california i went to el salvador i went to dr i was like damn i need to explore more yeah. my sister she went to japan she went to china puerto rico dominican republic el salvador uh california but you know california is big yeah. so she went to los angeles long beach san francisco wow i'm not sure she went to san diego though I think I I was the first one I went to I San think, Diego. I think I think I saw a picture of San Diego. San Diego. I went to San Diego. I know that with my brother. He so. He, oh, maybe I'm confusing one of your pictures. My mom and dad did went to San Diego. I think in their last visit when they went to see my brother. Yeah, how long was the flight? Dude, I remember the first <laughs> time I went to the trip to California, and I don't know why the hell I thought it was gonna be four hour trip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why and I don't know why because sometimes you're snoozing you're just like damn I just want to get there and I'm like damn and then I'm like yo why the hell is this taking long <laughs> and I'm like Jesus Christ and of course it's the other side of the but you're just not thinking sometimes you're just like in a hurry that you just want to get there I'm not a, I'm not the best person to be on the plane I, I, I hate I hate me. I just hate I me. Yeah. I hate I standing, yeah. staying, yeah. sitting in one place <laughs> for too long. Then I'm like, oh man. That's what you can picture a, a ball of energy <laughs> just standing oh, still. Man. I can see it. I can see uh, it with you. <laughs> it was, I was like, damn. I, was, I don't know why I was thinking four hours. <sighs> and, then, and then I was checking. You know, I think it was in JetBlue and you could press the button. And yeah. like, it was like, oh, you got like two miles. I was like, shit, this thing is six hours. <laughs> Six hours to get. I'm like, damn. And then my family wants to go to Hawaii. I'm like, oh hell, shit. I'm like, oh man. And my sister's like, 
you had better go to Hawaii or I'm going to get mad at you. We haven't been in a family trip for a long time. Yo, I'm like, that's how your sister talks? What? Nah, not like that. Wow, that sounded bad. <laughs> tough. Oh, she's tough. Wow. She's a tough girl. You know my sister's a tough girl, man. She's a little she's little a girl, but she's a tough little yeah, girl, no, man. She's a, you're like, damn, okay. <laughs> she's a police woman. Huh? She's police, right? She's yeah, she's a police officer. I'm that's glad. dope. That's dope. But... I could. I was sorry. Yeah, she she's doing really good. But um, what was I gonna say? Like this time, we're gonna see how we figure out how we when we're, it's gonna be a perfect time for the whole family to go to Hawaii. But damn, thirteen hour trip to get there, Jesus Christ! You know, I don't know you'll how, be fine. No, no, I mean of course, but you know, you're like no, you know what? Hold on, no, I fail you on that. I facts, facts. Like the longest trip I took was to what's further? Is it DR or Cuba? No, DR is further. Cuba's closer. Well, Cuba's way closer to Florida. It's well, only yeah. ninety miles. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that that trip was long, and that's just, just three hours and something, though. Let, let that's me. that's nothing. <laughs> Jeez, you, I'm talking about six hours, and I'm talking about thirteen and that, hours. And that's, and that's, that's exactly why. But I, I understand what you're you. trying to say. You're like it sucks because then you got the kid crying in the back. Oh, you got that? Then, oh no. Oh, you went oh, for California. Uh, for California, yeah. but I went to JetBlue and it was the cool thing. They had like at least some updated movies. I think I got to watch like two good movies. I I, I got to watch like Power Rangers, <laughs> the remake, whatever the hell it is. I was that, like, that suck. <laughs> that movie. You suck. know what? I was so bored. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait. that movie was kind of. That movie was that movie, tough. Was, that, was cool. that movie was a little let down. I was yeah. kind of. I was kind of sad stop. about don't, it, don't, man. Don't disrespect Power Rangers. I mean, no, yeah, I love part, Power Rangers. They had to like I match together. I, I don't know, man. It was just too. C- I mean, of course, they had to be. It had to be too CGI because it's yeah. CG. There's no way you're gonna make that realistic. <laughs> but you know, it was just, ah, uh, man. Are you, are you talking about like just the quality of the movie? It was just nah. Uh, the the storyline was movie? corny. Was yeah, everything was corny. The storyline was corny. It was just. Like it? I can't no. say nothing because the Power Rangers from the '90s was corny. Uh, yeah. But that's just. But. Th- but that, that's, kids, that's, that's we were being... kids, so you kind of keep that. You're like, damn, I love it. You know, you're like, oh, that's still cool. I mean, you're not gonna watch it the same. You're like, damn, this is kind of bad. But you know, as a kid, you're like, oh, yo, this is pretty awesome. But when you watch that movie again, you're like, ah, maybe it's for the kids. You know, <laughs> again, like you're like. Keep it for the kids, you know. Yo. I mean, don't get me wrong. I get to watch like like young little cartoon movies like uh, the Spider Verse. Oh, I love that one. That was a good movie. That's one of that the was, best. Oh, oh man, that was a that good was movie. movie. That was a good movie. You got to watch that movie? Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, Shout like, out to my fire stick. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Shout out to my girl who got me this. Oh, and so, oh, yeah. Bring him up. Bring him up. These right now are from the Spider-Verse Nike. Let me, let me see those. Hmm. Jordan OG High. <laughs> okay. Okay, Thank so. you, sir. Yeah, no. Okay, so. Woo! Look at that leather, though. Yeah, I know, man. I was like, damn. I was surprised when I got to see these. I was like, yo. Yeah, of course. Here. Sorry. (laughs) You tried them on? Yeah. That's something that I like about you when you buy sneakers. So I kind of sometimes check reviews and things like that and see if they're true for fit. And yeah, um, my size are true for fit. This is a really cool sneaker because it has like the polka dots yeah it kind of has a like <coughs> it i mean it doesn't say spider-man so much but they try to like make it so jordan you know like they're not trying to make it look, look like payless you know they're yeah. gonna make it like it, it's jordan but it's like inspired by spider-man a little well, that is a very interesting perspective it's not even leather it doesn't feel like it. i mean it is but it's tumber like, letter or something like that yeah. leather or something yeah. like that it was, I was a, checking but then I looked, I was like, you know, my girl told me, I was like, I'm going to get you these because supposedly the originals cost like almost $800 or $1,000 or something. For like. resale? I mean, so this color wave is a Chicago color wave. Hmm. So, you know, of course it has the icing on here. This is the only different. The other ones have like original red and I think this is like red. I think and the black. icing is better. Hmm. Now, some people like it. Some people hate it. Me, it's just like I always want this color wave. So it's the cheapest way to go because I'm not going to pay like a thousand something dollars or damn shoe, you know, but my girl surprised me and dang, thank you, babe. <laughs> she surprised me a lot. I think it was Yo, a lot. Just bring, bring all the boxes up that <laughs> you got. You got some, some nice stuff. This is the, how much is this one resale right now? 
damn, you know what's crazy? I checked these on on GOAT. I think they're going for like $410. That's freaking You're crazy. my size, too. I'm nine and a half. <laughs> if you, want, so that if you don't want to borrow it, this is a nice size. Are you a sneakerhead? Not that much. I'm pretty new to the game, but it's specific kind of little sneakers. Like, if you look at my sneakers, these are like the only ones I have like that are like big. But after that, everything is just just to walk or whatever. But I like that you actually wear them. You're so not, them? Yeah, I'm gonna you, wear them for the summertime. You're not like a, uh, you a collect them kind of. No, 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 no. I'm gonna these. These are gonna be worn when it's summer. If, if if I wasn't gonna wear them, I might as well just sell them. Yeah, yeah. I got you a know? question. Plus, it's a I present. Got a question for y'all. When I say summertime, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Yeah. Anything, anything. It's the time to freaking look. Look good, man. It's kind of time to show off that body. What, is that your vibe? Is that like when you? When you think I like I like summer because you you feel comfortable. You don't have to look like a damn Eskimo, man. <laughs> Fuck, I hate winter, man. Yeah, people say, "Well, you live in Boston," I mean, because everything is close. Yo. Every, you know, I like the area. It's really cool. It's just winter sucks. Well, That's born, it. Let me tell you, I was raised here too. You know, I'm like I'm so used to it, man. I don't want to go to California. That's the only reason. Yeah, go let's go ramp now. Fuck you, Patriots. I wow. mean, but if you, you like the that? Rams, that's cool. Oh, your brother? No, no, like yeah, my well, my brother live. Like I'm talking about, if you live in another place, you know. Yeah. I, I'm so used to this environment, but like in the same time, it's okay to break your shell and go somewhere else. No, it's else. good to visit. You know, yeah, that's true. You know. Hold on, you have a lot of people hating on Massachusetts. I mean, people hate on Massachusetts because they're the like more successful teams. You got the Bruins, you got the Celtics, Red Sox, you got the Red Sox, you got the Pats. The only, the only, the only team that sucks is the New England Revolution that Kraft doesn't seem like he gives a shit about. Oh, he owns them too. He owns them, man, and he doesn't want to do nothing about it. And I support the team. I remember, I, I was, I support him better when Clem Dempsey, a USA soccer player, used to been playing with them. He's really fun. And then he went to Seattle Sounders, that their fan base is way bigger and better, like that. Their their Seattle Seahawks stadium, the whole the whole uh, Sounders will fill the stadium up wow. to watch the soccer game. Compared to the, you go to a, a freaking Revolution. Revolution games like freaking like thirteen ten thousand people, even maybe less than that. You're like on a seventy five thousand dollars stadium. That's crazy. Seventy like you're like what the heck really? Have it's just the environment. Yeah, I've been to the game. It feels the 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 last game I went to a Revolution. I think is when uh Rebels played versus the Revolution. And it was uh, so I actually got to witness one of the greatest soccer players of all time, uh, which is who? Thierry Henry. He's oh, he's yeah, French. He sounds French. Yeah. He, he he. Oh, dude, nasty guy. I watched EP uh, uh, the English Premier League just because of Thierry Henry, because uh, the, well, I'm not gonna lie, there was other players too, but he was like that guy who he was like the Ronaldinho mm. of that uh league yeah. he was just fun to watch when he crossed he people and everything he just know how to like, he, when he crosses people he will make you look stupid and he was just fun to watch so when i got the chance to find and he won a world cup with in dc don the guy who had about the oh, italian yeah, that dude's crazy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. He's, so french, he, he's french yeah who uh it's in the dc don yeah yeah he's french yeah. he uh he had about it that italian guy because supposedly uh he said something nasty. Not sure. Him. He said he said something about his sister or something. So he got mad and he freaking like forehead the hell out of the really? news chest. Yeah, he got yeah it. it was it was soccer crazy. gets that deep. Oh, oh dude, you, you don't even know. Yeah. If you go to uh, you, if you go watch like uh, River Plate versus Boca Junior, who them fans are crazy. Don't look, Boca, the River Plate fans. I mean, no, no, I'm sorry. The uh, Boca Junior fans couldn't go to the. Uh, who are they? They're from Argentina. Okay. Soccer. So soccer it's a league. it's a league in our hand. So I'm, I'm gonna let you guys know right now. Like I know. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's it's you know every soccer. it's different. Everybody likes different sports. You know. No, and I thought but, I, well. You know your attention. Your attention goes to this. One of those sports this. that I played compared to watching. Yeah, I but mean like, a, a lot of kids in America. You never got into the watching. Yeah, like no, it? it's, yeah. no, it's, I always played it. I got it because of my dad. You know, my like yeah, my dad is. Dads, a, yeah. You know, if you have a dad. You like what your dad likes. Yeah. People okay. go like, Juan, why are you a Cowboys fan? I was like, I'm a Cowboys fan because of like 
my dad is a fan. I'm like, I support my dad. And if you meet my dad, he's the nicest guy in the world. Mm. He's like, I'm not going to go to my dad. Like, yo, fuck the Cowboys. No. Like, no. <laughs> like, what the hell? And he's like, yeah. I, li- I like the Pats, you know? But I'll support my dad, too. And my dad supports, actually, the Patriots, too. He doesn't he hate. Likes, yeah, he likes Yeah, it. he actually supports. He's really, yeah, I like, hope the Patriots win. Hold on. Does he support and, it or is he, is he neutral? No, he's he support him. He wants them to win. If if it's something ever because my sister and my brother uh, were born here, so are they Patriots? Even your oh, brother? my my brother and my sister are Patriots fans all Hardcore. the way. Hardcore, Hardcore. Oh. I, I love the Pat. I was a big, big Pat fan when Bledsoe was there. Oh, wow. he sucks. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. But, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, Showbris. dude. I ain't Bat. gonna lie. When Tom Brady took <laughs> his place, Bledsoe. I was kind of sad because I'm like, because he got injured. I think that first Super Bowl, and I was like, damn. Against the Rams? Um, no, I mean, it was like, I think he got injured in the s- quarterfinals or something like that. And then Tom Brady took over. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. To take over, to win it, you know, and he won the whole thing. And it was wow. against, and it was it was against, against the, the Rams. Rams. So, and it kind of sucked because I was a Drew Bledsoe fan the whole time. But you have to think back in the day, he's the thing like, you know, that's a quarterback that I've been following a long time. Yeah. You're like this dude just taking the dude's job that I you like. You were pissed. And I was like, shit. But then after that, you know, like the more you embrace, you're like, damn, Tom Brady did so much to the team that you're like, damn, yo, good job, Tom. You're right. like, you prove people, you prove haters wrong and you're doing what you got to do. Look, the same thing, right? That, that yeah. transition was like ripping off a bad band-aid. <laughs> for real like I think I think that describes the situation perfectly cause Drew Bledsoe like he was there he was like although he wasn't am I wrong no it's not it's right? I'm not gonna lie no, it no. sucks Tom Brady's the better player right but it's gonna suck it's like it's like you have this player that you love so much. Like, you, you watch him so much. You can much. still love him. I still no, love no, him. No, of course. I still love him. Like, but and it sucks. It so. sucks that someone else takes your damn job, you know? It, and it's crazy. Like, Tony Romo did that the same thing to Drew Bledsoe. He went to but you don't even have to look at it like that. You could just... You, why, why not look at it as a, as a whole, as a legacy, as, like, as, as the Patriots? You get it? No, I know. <laughs> like, in the end, it's, everything went well for the Patriots. And the fan base never had so much love right now. Like, I mean, it kind of sucked that the fans were kind of hating on Tom Brady this year and saying, oh, he's too old. And well, I, will, and course, I was the a, one I was like, Cordell no. Brought that, well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, Cordell is a Cowboys fan straight up till the end, and he's going to hate respect, on them. It's, it's, it's understandable. I, I'm a Cowboys because of him. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, it's cool. I don't know how him. y'all do it. <laughs> I mean, he's but a cowboy because like, Cordell's a cool dude, yeah. and you're like, why not support Cordell yeah. too? And Henry, he really and, he got, and Cordell kind of taught like the Cowboys yeah, way to anything. Henry. Well, that's like but such then a weird combo: learning. Cowboys and Patriots. I mean, let me tell like, you, those are the two most yeah. hated team in the freaking <laughs> NFL. That's how come I'm like, as a Patriot fan, goes like, oh fuck, the guy, like, dude. The Cowboys were hated. Now you guys are hated. You guys might as well just fucking like, yo, you know, you guys are okay. I understand. Get in the club. <laughs> yeah, get in the club thing. and understand that everybody <laughs> hates you, you know? That's that's like that's like rooting like for the Spurs and the Celtics. No. That's that's a weird combo. Yeah, it I is. I mean it is. Yeah, I mean it is. The Spurs are chill though. The Spurs are cool. I'm, a, I'm not I, saying they're I, not, I, but I, isn't that just I an actually, odd combo? No, like, no. I never liked Miami. Fuck Miami the heat. Like the heat. You never. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> let's, let's 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 talk facts here, sir. You never liked Miami. Nah, I never. No, no, no. I like I like the going there. I like going oh, there. I don't like. like I don't like. I don't like the teams. I don't man. like the te- the basketball team. Why? Because when LeBron and it was a bunch well, of the other bull guys crap. <laughs> Everybody's Wade. giving Kevin Durant the bull crap, but. LeBron James jump chip like like eh, eh, yeah. eh, 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 like that and I'm like come on I mean I ain't gonna say LeBron James is one of the greatest athletes you ever played but why the, isn't the only he? huh why isn't he who no I'm saying he is but oh, okay. the only thing the only thing I hate is just that like his uh, his game his his whining or or the way he gets he's 265 pounds Jason Terry pushes you you fucking on the floor like you got injured by a like a truck hit you like really <laughs> dude come on yeah jason terry's like 175 pounds the yo, you're 265 pounds you're telling me we're playing ball and some dude does that you're like yo what the hell bro man man up stand up but of course it's um, the I'm, nba i'm just gonna say this isn't that similar to the same reason that people hate tom brady because no tom brady because, actually hold on hold on tom brady actually got because, some good hits because he understands the technicalities of the game Shout out to Bill Belichick. 
technicality. Yeah. Technical. Look, the difference like, is. Sure. Have LeBron you seen, could, could have you seen, fly, no, 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 but no. he's selling no, 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 it and no. it looks like a foul. No, no. But the Tom Brady never does that. Tom Brady, he actually gets hit and get his ass I'm not, up. I'm not saying he does it. I'm not saying, I mean, it's part of the game. Acting is part of the game. Right? I mean, it is. it's like it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not cool if you're doing it like it's the like way cheat codes, he is. I'm, I'm not it's a saying cheat code. I am not saying if it's cool or but not. But soccer does it all the time. Yeah, that gets me and pissed. They're over that dramatic. That gets me yeah, pissed. Oh, no, like, and what? It, it depends what soccer plays do. Like, so you know about soccer? I, I like so. Uh, he sees the stereotypical ha ha hoo ha memes <laughs> on soccer. He doesn't know about it. But there are soccer plays that get me pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, look. Okay, you guys know Whoa. Nate. Whoa, <laughs> no, no, no. Keep wait, that wait, same wait. energy, you guys know sir. About, okay, wait, 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 wait. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah. Don't get shook now. <laughs> wait, Keep wait. that same energy, <laughs> Pedro. Let me. Yep. Mm-hmm. So you know Name, all right? Mm-hmm. The Brazilian so, guy. So he's na- he's go- he's a good player, just like LeBron James. But sometimes he he I think he got pushed in the World Cup and he fucking like goes like I don't know twenty yards or some bullshit like Neymar that. Neymar did that. Neymar Yo. is an incredible soccer player. What team does he play for? He is plays, that Arsenal? He played no. Nah, he plays for PSG in France. I don't know about that. Do, do you see? You're in your own little but, circle, but uh, uh, there, there's a big uh, 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 circle. No, there's a big world. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Relax. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Go Relax. For it. All right. I will. <laughs> I will admit, like, I am not a super fan, like my man Juan is, because he grew up with it. But I've been exposed to it, a healthy dosage. Nothing wrong with that, man. No, no, I'm just saying. So my roommate was a huge fan of Arsenal. Have you ever? I'm pretty sure. I used to watch them back in the day. Arsenal? Arsenal's in England. Oh yeah! All right, huge, huge. I'm fan. not big soccer. The English Premier League. It's yeah. Uh, it's really fun. I, uh, I recommend to go watch one of their games. I and, apologize. And no, 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 no. Keep that same energy, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Liverpool. You guys familiar with that? Oh, Liverpool. Their fans are freaking crazy. Yeah, I know. Man. Their fans are hype machines. Right now, they got that soccer player Salah from Egypt, man. Hmm. So I want you to picture this. Let me <laughs> let me paint my portrait for my friend here. I want you to imagine a very passionate roommate who is so into those soccer teams because that's all you hear in the background, especially in the summertime, all right? The passion of a Cape Verdean. That's some strong passion. The Cape Verdean, but the the Cape Verdeans don't have a really good... It's just you know no, the no, thing no. is. I'm just I'm I'm just I'm just painting my picture as far as his energy, so mm. like he's very passionate. Every country is a lot of the like Central America, Mexico, South America, a lot of the Asian countries. Soccer Africa, is Europe. number one sport. Yeah, it's the number one sport in the world. That you can't deny that. It's just every, every, everybody plays. Everybody plays. You know it. what? You know what? Even in the states, is getting the MLS is getting bigger. Dude, the, the the teams are getting much bigger. A lot of teams are getting their own stadiums right now. It's crazy. That's how come I'm getting pissed off that the Revolution Soda has doesn't have their own. Well, stadium. Kraft is pretty cheap. Kraft is cheap, but damn, when it comes to the Patriots, you know how to maintain them looking good. It's just no. Well, it's, you know, Brady lost sixty million in his whole career. Well, he, damn, because he was just giving I money can't back. Say that because I didn't know. I mean, I I know he caught paychecks you know to get people but i didn't know he did but he always have been a team player but then craft could have just put it out he's a billionaire what with brady who's risking his life that's true man but i don't they have some relationship maybe i don't know they made it they have some relationship that they feel really good because having a dynasty that much close together seemed like craft and belichick and brady just just get along they just click very well it's just like uh like uh, I used to like, so the the only Texas two Texas teams I like is the Cowboys and the Mavericks, and I like Dirt and Whitsky. Yeah, and his his connection with Mark Cuban is crazy. Like they like each other very well. Like he uh, Dirt and Whitsky. I like Mark check. Cuban. You like him? He's my as dude. An entrepreneur, I'm or like person. Over he, 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 as, as far he's intel- as he's what, what he's I've doing. seen, as far as what I've seen, I like him. Like he does have a close relationship with his players. Yeah, he, him and Dirt and Whitsky get along right? very well, and he's still playing right now. Where he sucks. He's. I mean, I'm sorry. You that. saw that meme about Nowitzki? 
I mean, dude, that Luca kid is taking over. Oh, though. he's a beast. We Luka, love that guy. Dogne, love we, we, could, that. We, could, we could we could definitely talk about him next. <laughs> that kid is no, nasty. Bro. You know, he uh, Mark Cuban has a book. I'm, I'm, a book. I, I wouldn't doubt it. Read it. Dude's on Shark Tank. He's a phenomenal um, show. It's like a biography. What is it called? Mark Cuban. It's just just about his life, yeah, how he started, like and everything. Yeah. I haven't read it. I saw it on the, my Kindle. Hmm. I was talking about it. I might buy. Yeah, I'm afraid to like. You not afraid, but it feel weird to like read a book from a Kindle. I'm showing it's my different. age. I'm, yeah. I'm certainly showing my age, but like. I got a Kindle because. Is it comfortable? It's comfortable. Was it intimidating at it first? It doesn't hurt like, your eyes. It doesn't hurt. No, because you can make it bigger. You can the letters. You can make it bigger or smaller. And the light just helps you, you know, your eyes not strain. And then when it's sunlight, you, you you can't read sometimes like a physical book, but the Kindle knows I have to adjust it. Oh really? Yeah, so you can read it under the sun. May, uh, wow, and maybe you should get one. Because of those I, I read, I used to read a lot of physical books in the train, and then I'll I'll be like, oh, then I'm holding into a pole. And you just read. You couldn't read it, yeah. and then you're hitting people. But the Kindle, you're just holding it. With one hand. You know what? I think it's just like, I think it's like the essence that's intimidating. Because it's 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 the same thing. And obviously, the Kindle's upgraded and everything. I haven't tried it. But I, no, that's a force. I've tried it, but I haven't like really read Play. a book. Or, oh, from you know, it? Yeah, yeah, on a Kindle. But it's just like, like that's my vibe. You know, yeah. like, turn, feeling the pages. Mm-hmm. Letting the word soak in. And like the fact that, you know, we're in changing times is just like, oh shit, like, do I really want to give that up? No, I don't have to, but like, that's just my perspective. No, I can see, I see it. But I think uh, the end goal is just to re- like take in information. No, facts. And but then- like, well, so how's how's the Kindle? Is it like uh, Netflix or something? <laughs> you just go like this, pick your book or something? <laughs> it's not, it's a Kindle. They have different Kindles. <clears throat> they do. Let me so ask they, you this. They have like the fire Kindle. Hold up. I got a serious question for you. When you read your Kindle, right, do you get the same experience that you do reading from reading? Reading a book? Yeah. I've always been reading book. it in a book. Because I feel like take, like reading but, the but, book, but, like, but, it's but a sensation. But people are, people are getting, they're, get they're getting a the comment. Book. Back then, people were like that, but now they're getting a comment with like, they don't mind the, I think people the before they have more time to be in the house reading. The type of life we live now is more. It's kind of hard. You have to be up. You have to be in the mood. Especially everything's getting Do expensive. Do you though? <laughs> I mean, hold I on. mean, I take like, I if I really wanted time for myself, you can get it. I can get it. I can write. Anybody can. Yeah, but you do a good job, man. I remember you post on Facebook like, hey, I read this book. I read this book. I'm like, damn, look at Henry you're doing a good job, man. <laughs> yeah. So I I make the time to. You really do figure it to out. To read. And you're a busy guy. You're, you're, and then, yeah, I mean. You're a busy guy. I you, put you, the work. I try to put the work. But with reading, I think there's two things. Um, you get faster at reading mm-hmm. the more you read. Mm-hmm. Like, I was, the, the f- when I first started reading, it was, I'm going to pick up this book, and I'm going to read for 10 minutes. And then I will do that every day. Just read for t- to 10 minutes. I would read like a page, two pages. I, I, read, I was reading slow. And then I started doing, a month later, I did 15 minutes a day. And then I could do 20, 30, an hour, two hours, three hours. Now I'm reading six hours. Does, it's an honest question, a very important question. Does it, does it bring pleasure to you? Yeah, I bet it does, right? Some of the stories you read, you're like really fast. When I read fiction, yes. Okay. When I'm reading uh, self-help or I'm reading... Something scientific, like something from space, or I'm reading any medic, like medical, psychology books, um, any history. I'm putting more focus. I'm I'm putting my brain to work. So I then when when I finish them, sometimes I feel exhausted because I I'm like holding all this information. See, okay, so I get hmm. So but in fiction, I feel like it just goes through me. Like you feel it, yeah. It's God, like yes. I can see the I can see the movie. I can see the characters yes. depending on the, on the author, 
But when I'm reading a, a nonfiction, it's a whole different experience. Now, can you get that experience by reading it on a Kindle? Yes. Really? Yeah. Okay, then I gotta try this out. Because Actually, I should too. That's it just goes. You just, it, it's a flow thing. Oh, it keeps okay, that's flow. important. That's important. And I think oh. with books, I would lose um, the flow. If I was reading a hard cover book and then I'll go for, to a paper type of pa- uh, like a paperback book, mm. I would lose that vibe of reading because of, of, of just touching something different. Oh, so you're kind of like read mode and just yeah i don't have to i don't have to feel anything like like that you you're just like your brain is already in forward 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 forward, like that i think i understand what you're trying to say like your moment it kind of kills your momentum when you're reading a a, a real book while you're reading a digital book you're like it's quick it's like you're like there you're not like it's, no it's little things little things like yeah, that distract and it is crazy yeah, right how yeah. the mind works like it could be like uh, you're like uh, but like you're just like this you're like boom well, really you do, quick you finish and the thing is the kindle has a, a clock like a, it tells you the time so you don't have to be like oh shit what's the time and to pull up your phone or you look at your watch because you can use the, just look at it on the top of the, of the screen and then continue reading but it's a good way Hold to get... Up. Wait a minute. How many versions of um, Kindles do they have? I think this is the third one. It's Kindle White. Oh, yeah, White Light or something Kindle's like that. Kindle's Amazon, right? Yes. Yeah, oh, I remember okay. when it first came I mean, out. They the have their own one. tablets, too, like the iPads with really? color and stuff. But the Kindle, the like e-reader, is black and white. Damn, man. I remember when we... <laughs> Damn, I need to... I need to... I'm so, like, far back when it comes to Kindle. Because I never really, my life is, and that's why I was asking those questions before, because I'm always on the go. Yeah. And Kindles came out when? Ooh, I don't know, man. You know what I mean? It's been like a decade now? Like, yeah, right. 10 years now. <clears throat> I've heard of it, but I've never like actually had the time hmm, as a force. And I, it wasn't a, I had the time, but I didn't have the thought to actually use one. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I was either busy traveling up to Vermont or some some wild adventure that we're probably going to go off pretty soon. <laughs> Henry, you, know, you definitely come in, you know. <laughs> we, should, we should go to, um, just name me a day trip to New York. New York sounds good, man. Just or, chill. or, I like to go or, to New York just to chill. Hold me on, too. or to, to scare this, this young man. And I'm not even trying to scare him. I was trying to, I got a story for you. Okay, right. go for it. Shoot. It's me, Juan, and Cordell. And it was a summer night, and well, we came we came from Cordell's house, or something like well, that. Well, we took us to the woods. Exactly. <laughs> Listen, I, I, thought he was or I thought Listen. We, I thought we were gonna get beat up. I was like, damn it! I was like, Cordell, we're gonna die. We're gonna die, Cordell. He's like, he's a like, Stop it. He's like, we're gonna die right over there. He's gonna dig us over there. He's gonna dig us. He's like, well, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, I don't wanna die. The, the, the new yeah. Aquaman movie's about to come out. You see his die. vibe? That's, that's his energy. Right? <laughs> you can keep that. Right? And he almost hit a deer, too. <laughs> so you went through the woods walking or in the car? No, we were in the car. Yeah. Oh, okay. We, we that were, makes it way much better. You made it sound like... Exactly. Nah, you know I what I mean? Like 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 <laughs> insane. <laughs> <laughs> but check it. We're coming from Cordell's house or somewhere. And... um I'm just like, yeah, let's go for a cruise. And, you know, I know the town of Bill Ricca pretty well. And it's it's pretty far from East Boston. All right. But whatever. We were having a good time. I think we were coming from Sonics or something like that. Damn, we went to Sonics? Did we go to Sonics? I don't even remember. If not, I got to put you <laughs> I wasn't there as well. Yeah. I don't even <laughs> what know, man. So, so we're driving through and then like... You know, wants it in the back seat, and he just sees trees, and he's like, oh, what? "Where are we?" And I'm like, "Yo, like, all right, like, in my hey, I'm driving, I'm chilling, just like la da 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 da." <laughs> and Cordell, you know, he, he's stupid country. You know, he, the country came out where he just focused, just. <laughs> and it, oh, that and, was one. The whole and, time? and that's that was Cordell. Oh no! And you know, I'm just a, I'm. 
I'm comfortable. I mean, it's just trees. It's <laughs> woodsy area. Yes, they have deer. I should tell you the story about the time where I fed a coyote cinnamon toast crunch because we what thought it was a fuck? dog. <laughs> Facts. I'm about Zoom. that life. Yeah. But you're, like, you're one we, with the animals. We were in the car the whole time. You're animal man. <laughs> animal man. All right. Ace Ventura 4. <laughs> Coming up soon. <laughs> no, no, no. Scratch that. Scratch that. Doctor Doolittle. Doctor Doolittle. Yeah. How, how many the sequel? How many versions did they come out? I think there was a part the, three, right? There was part four. one, part two. The the one but where I think there was the newest one that had Eddie Murphy. The one that did not have Eddie Murphy. I don't know. I didn't even got to watch that. I only wa- I remember part one and part two. Yeah, because those are classics. The rest after that, I'm gonna make this tough comparison, and you both are gonna feel me. You ready? Okay, go for it. It was like Heinz ketchup and Hunt's ketchup. <laughs> Catch up and hunt, right. catch up. The first two Heinz quality. The second two Hunt. All right. Where do you see Hunt? At a carnival. All right. You get that Hunt quality ketchup. And you know, it works, but it's not your first choice, is it? Jesus. I got lost. Am I how did you get how did you get lost in that? You got it? What? What? Did you understand? I like Heinz ketchup, bro. Thank you. That's all I'm saying. All right. The first. I don't know. I go for Heinz ketchup maybe because like I'm so used to it. Thank you. No. Because because y'all know what's up. (laughs) It's not the bootleg version. No. Whoopity doo. No. You remember the high school ones? The high school ketchup. Oh my god! What was the high school ketchup. I forgot, man. That was gross. I remember. The, I remember the, twisting up little the, bottles the, and just throwing them at people's foreheads. I remember the fake pizzas, man. <laughs> them, them, <laughs> them disgusting or the microwaves. Hey, do you got cow? Man, do you see, man? He went to them white. The he, he went. He went to the yeah. white schools, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he got calzones, man. Wow. We we were over here in EC eating some the fucking frozen pizzas, frozen pizzas and shit like. <laughs> Like that should look like it was like made of freaking pl- rubber yeah. or whatever the hell it, it was on, horrible. Wait, wait, what, what, school did, what school did you go to? East Boston went, High. I, I went to Donna, uh, Donna McKay. I, I don't I don't know anything. <laughs> when about we were in elementary. Oh, elementary. I went to the elementary. Uh, the Kennedy. The Kennedy. I've heard of that's in Cambridge, oh, no, right? No, 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 no. Um, no, that's in East Boston. No, the Kennedy. The Kennedy. Yeah, we, I I heard of that. The one. McKay. McKay. Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. That, that was, was the McKay. The, the Donna McKay. Donna McKay. You went to Donna McKay? I went to Donna McKay. <laughs> you went with my sister. Oh, oh yeah. I said the Kennedy. What the hell? <laughs> Donna McKay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Donna McKay, you went yeah. with my sister over there. And I oh, yeah, I have that picture. You look like damn kids. I mean, you guys were <laughs> We were holding hands. I mean, yeah. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> you still, you're still oh, mad. Um, I remember the first time I told you that story. Yeah, I know. I told so your sister what, first. He got mad at me. What kind of <laughs> what is it? The Donovan K, Donna McKay, Donna, Donna McKay, Do- Donald, 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 Donald McKay, Donald McKay. Yeah. Okay, like you got to. I, I have I have no knowledge or, about that school. Like what? What was supposedly the they they named the guy who made chips or something like that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know the back history. in the day, something like that. I re, I remember a little, but not that much, man. But East Boston has changed a lot right now. Well, it's the same school. Same school, look look much better when I was when I was in it. I remember that. Yeah, we're doing newer. No. They, they got like a little park now for the kids there. To I don't know how the hell it looks inside, but I remember that shit looked like a spooky house. Like you go <laughs> in there, you, I keep thinking you're gonna die. Your school looked like a spooky house. <laughs> yeah, you look as a kid, man. It looked like a haunted house, bro. You you you. you, look, so you do, wait at nighttime. I remember there was like a time in Donald McKay that kids used to dress like clowns or something to scare the kids or some shit like that. It was fucked up. I remember up. that. Them kids are fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, they said that there was a clown. Yeah. You know in that room with the boilers? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know oh, what? boy. Everybody said, even, I don't think, I don't Seems know. Seems like tradition kept going for the wrong reasons. I don't, I don't know. Yo, so, okay. I don't know. This is elementary school. And, and, this is an elementary school? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because so, I think it was a middle uh, elementary combined with middle school kids. No, it was only elementary. I th- but I think in my time it was elementary oh. combined with middle school kids. Oh, maybe, maybe. It might. I I don't know. I remember because I remember the fifth. My teacher yeah. used to put the fifth grader versus the sixth graders in a competition. We always kicked their ass on, on fucking kickball. Oh yeah, and, I, and I don't, I don't know. I don't know if my teacher was putting money into this or some bullshit like that. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I remember there was cash. 
exchange or something. With other teachers? Yeah, it was Mr. Foss's, and I think the other teacher, or the yo, middle school teacher, was this Mr. This dude would be dropping dimes, yo. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just, you I'm, said I'm, names. And wow, that he's. I've never former. heard so many name drops, <laughs> addresses, locations, <laughs> government <laughs> names in my life. I am just what saying, is wrong with you, <laughs> Mr. Right? He's a he was a cool teacher. Yeah, yeah. We know yeah, where this yeah. individual teaches at. Nah, I don't know, man. I don't even know. He's Hopefully still not at a university or anything. Yeah, <laughs> he's ruining his career at wine. I'm sorry. Good job. <laughs> Great job! But that was that was back in the day, man. He changed man now, I bet. Yeah, he's a different man now. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe put him little kids fighting each other. He's like, "Come on, twenty dollars, twenty dollars. Who got who got the little one? Who got the fat one?" <laughs> Jesus Christ! So messed wow. up. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh man, memory lane, man. And these bosses back in the day was something. Um, so we've been doing an hour and thirty minutes. Now so if you guys want to continue, <laughs> nah, I think we're all set. <laughs> or, wait, that's wait, what you time? You want to wrap this shit up? What, what time is it now? It's six six forty four. Oh, I bet you Cordell's calling me. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Let me yeah? check. Let me check my phone. Let me check my phone real quick. Because this is fun. This is a very. 